rushing, but in this time, uh, Save for Admins rushing. And the account has been actually been around for quite a while. It's like 120 days old right now. I would say the last, well, half of the account, like the last two months on the account, I've just kind of been chilling, not really farming too much. Just, I actually wasted like the 3k crystals on like the Ella thing, and I've just been farming, not really upping runes and stuff. But since we have the crystals thing right now, also for lower ranks, so not the crystals, the uh, LD pieces. Let's see if we can actually get like Conqueror 1, Conqueror 2. I don't think it would, like if we get Conqueror 1, it's already a W, Conqueror 2 very maybe, but I kind of doubt it. Especially since it's the first week where this upgraded uh, reward is actually there. So I do expect a lot of people to be uh, hyped for it right now. And then the hype might kind of die out somewhat down the line at some point. But we're going to see if this account can actually do some for arena offenses and then let's see how that goes so i did uh, get a few net fives that are actually pretty interesting for some reason that thing also pops up in here which is almost more annoying than it is chill yeah that's not great i needed the armor break over there otherwise oh wait you can still good nice the increased cool time from this unit is so strong but also look at this damage that skill is actually a ridiculous amount of damage so yeah, the Jasmine is uh, one of the, it was actually the last um, HOH that we had then. It's a very strong HOH. I would say one of the better HOHs uh, that we had in a long time. Animations are somewhat on the long side though, that's the only issue, but definitely a unit worth building. Picture kinky HOH, yeah, that would be very nice. Well, there's going to be a few hits that are just free because people sometimes at lower rank still do like the not having anything in there as a defense more or less so that part will be there as well but the higher i get the less i will get there there will also be a lot of like what i call sleeper accounts people that don't really do rush but they do have good runes and it's sometimes hard to see like do they have a good defense and does that show that they're good at it or do they actually have something that I might not be able to clear? Or like how fast is this for example? Like could I outspeed this with my Bernard that's just chilling at like a 197? I'm not sure. Like if this is a like high-end G3 account actually. Or well high-end. Let's say it's like a, a C3 plus account. Then outspeeding that would be impossible. If not then it's very doable. So those are kind of the things. E I'm gonna get full some math. That's not great. All of these units do have like the max accuracy for what is needed and stuff so that part is definitely out there also i come here does do a lot of damage so that's definitely nice but there's a few units surviving here at this moment which isn't too great especially if you get stunned because that means that you will get another skill in uh, let's actually remove you for the moment in case you start doing like the buffs and shit. and now we can still clear So yeah, this team is, you might say this team is like, oh, it's premium because you use a net 5. No, actually you could just put Aquila in here, it would work as good, so it's literally the same thing. I don't really have like Galleon yet, so I can't really use that. Uh, I don't expect this team to be super fast, so I could Zyros this. Zyros is more premium though, but I would say the best free-to-play unit for Arena Rush would uh, be on damage side, probably the Akamamir. Oh, and that thing is also Despair. Uh, actually, both the Joe Gun and the other thing are Despairs. So these two are Despairs. This thing is just swift damage, I think. Should have used S2. S2 would have killed there, probably. Yeah, S2 of this thing does a lot of damage. Because it's like enemy current uh, attack bar or HP scaling or some weird shit. I think I can outspeed those as well. Just the question, like, do I do enough damage to kill the Yankee? But since I do have two despair options in this team, it is somewhat of a fail save as well. Ooh, he has full will, so Jogan has to be uh, a good Jogan here today. Jogan was a good Jogan. Yeah, Akamamir is definitely a unit. If you're looking at free-to-play rushing, 
A common mirror is your unit. That is uh, definitely a thing. But these I don't really like to hit too many annoying passives. Uh, this feels like one of those sleeper account kind of style things as well. I think we could go with this though. Maybe I actually should have used Jasmine. Jasmine is a better unit to clear you. Okay, I'm gonna break on all. That's good. Bath is not too bad against Camilla as well because you have like the anti, uh, the anti thingy. And with the anti-thinking, I mean like the anti-cleanse, so the armor break will actually stick. It's gonna be a hard rush. Yep. Yeah, I do expect it to be a pretty active rush. Hmm. Might be too tanky for me to clear. Don't really have health as counters on this account yet. EU rush is going to be hard. Oh yeah, EU rush is going to be definitely an interesting one, yeah. Because EU has the most active rush out of all servers anyways. So, and I can honestly say that because I rushed on pretty much every server except for Korea and Japan. Asia server, I was actually somewhat unimpressed by the first time I did it here. Well, I'm not sure about the lower ranks. I haven't done rush on lower ranks in like a long, long time. Uh, that should not outspeed me, I guess. It was semi-fast though. Jogan being a good Jogan so far. I feel like I could clear it, but I feel like it's also pretty tricky. I think that this might actually still be the best one. Where's the destroy from? Bad? Uh, I do think so. Wait, is that quad stun? Uh, almost. And now it is quad stun. I do think that I can outspeed those. Thought your ult was on uh, global. Nope, it's Asia server. Ooh, that one actually did us. That's a pretty fast Tiana then. Oh, I thought this unit was in tune. Apparently not. Good thing Jasmine was.
I could clear this, but it does feel pretty tricky as well. To be honest, even though it's like full LD, it's not even a good defense. Yeah, I'm pretty curious about the EU rush as well. I did already prepare like all of my uh, offense defense. If I miss any of these, I might have like a big issue. Okay, I did increase on left as well. Did I increase there? Ah, doesn't matter. No. So yeah, looks like a very strong defense with all of those premium LDs, which are actually a whole bunch of very good LDs. But yeah, it's not really that crazy good if you put it all together like this. That one probably will be best. Once again, not sure about how fast this would be as well. The G3 people last week might get G1 this week. It might be, it might be. EU is definitely going to be very active. That is for sure. Would you mind not doing that, kind sir? Thank you. Thank <laughs> you, Elias, prepared. Yeah, I think a lot of people will be bruisering as well. But I think EU is also the server where people care more, uh, most about free-to-play, uh, any free-to-play stuff they can get, right? Like any other server is like, ah, free to play stuff is cool and all, but we really don't care that much about it. EU is like, yo, give me every fucking free to play crystal we can get. Or reward or resource or anything. I'm so scared of like trying to outspeed all of those, to be honest. The Bernard is on a decent speed, but it's not super fast. Slums of Shaolin. Welcome. What's up, Axel? Hi, dude. Well, I actually think that this is almost a bad defense as well. Yeah, it's just that killing this would be hard. And I think it might outspeed me if I don't go speed needs. Oh, let's just give it a strong okay. It's part of a Wu-Tang song. Ah. Not too familiar with those. I got fucked. You take this one, kind sir. Brigitte would definitely outspeed my ass. Honestly, I think I could take down those as well. It's just a Juno that might be annoying. But... Uh, this Asia server. Just kind of have to increase the call time, I guess. Just on it and do both. I come on here, it's an insane amount of damage. What the fuck, man? Everyone that says I can't do arena offense because I only have free to play units, get your fucking Akamamir to hit shit, man. It's easy. Holy shit. That thing actually has an insane damage. Ah, uh, hidden kinkies, though. Uh, 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 uh. Not sure about this one. Could 
could Zyros this. Yeah, I guess Zyros in this is okay. The Bernard is 311, mine is slower by 3 speed, and I'm Gucci. Uh oh. Uh oh. Not sure if my Zyros will kill anything. Okay, did kill one, but we're gonna get healing in. Plus, the unit that's most important for the cleanup is stunned right now, which is not that chill. Go away, monkey. No one likes you. Mm, might have some issues. Well, I always have issues, but... Look at this damage. That's some nice damage, right? But we're not in the clear yet. Not even remotely close. Kind of have to despair stun shit. I'm <laughs> like, why did I not get countered? But yeah, that's part of the passive actually. This thing can't get countered on the S3. Attack break. Uh, I did get the attack break. See, good damage. Good damage, but I think I still might uh, draw the short end of the stick over here on that one. Stun, please. Let me push back. Mm, let's go for this. I'll kill it. Why do you have to keep stunning it? I want to stun you. What? <laughs> what the fuck, bro? What the actual fuck? What kind of stun bullshit fest was that? Mm, I feel like I could hit this, but it, I also feel like it might be too tanky. No, I probably will be too tanky. Well, no, actually it's not too tanky for this version of it. As long as I outspeed the Wajet, Wajet might be fast though. Uh, Nef Enjoyer, Brush, Kaki, Amber, which is better for the offense, both. Just have both teams ruined up. Okay, that's not too great, but if I kill the others, I'm not gonna kill the Juno as well, that's not great. Cyril's damage is also insane. Like, actually fucking insane. Should have actually... Should have done the scroll trap on you. I didn't go for the skill anyways. Which case is Amber better? Uh, the case where you want heal blocks. And you're probably not killing him one full go. Annoying is a minute though. Not too sure about that actually. Kind of want to give it a try. You pulled the previous best LD5 out. Can you stop pulling LD5s? Didn't you get like a few recently? Which one did you get? Ragdoll? Arda? Oh, you just straight up stun his ass. That's L nasty. Luck has been insane for you. Stop being so lucky. Gurkha. Oh, yeah, that's... Uh, yeah, forgot about that one. It was there for a short moment. Fairly short moment. But it was good. Hmm, Asher's definitely not going to be able to outspeed those. This team might be super freaking tank. Well, actually, I didn't ruin it up, but I could use an Amber Rika team against this kind of shit. If I go... Uh, well, I kind of would need a Tiana. Then it would go, like, 
uh, Genny, Amber, Rika, Tiana or something. We would need to strip that also uh, gives attack power or some shit. Or I would need to do with like a Chiu, I don't have Chiu yet. Clara's not him, but too inconsistent. We'll be a decent offense in general, actually. Should run it up for next time. There's quite a bunch of those things that I can't really hit right now. I would be able to hit then. With heal blocks and shit. Using blue stacks? No, I'm using LD player. I actually feel like that these aren't going to be super fast as well, but I would kind of like to Zyros them in that case. Oh, that's this guy again. Thing is, if I do miss some of my skills, I might have issues. Mainly the Jogan. Jogan kind of has to land. Yep, and that's... I would say where it's one to miss if some of the others miss armor break right now. Okay, I land... Oh, I forgot about that. I'm despair. That's... Ow! Yeah, okay, that unit is not that tanky. Would she 1v4 me? She's doing a good job on it already. She might uh, do, do the whole 1v4 actually, yes. Because I'm gonna deal absolutely no damage now. Thing is, I kind of want to strip, but you kind of don't want to strip. Your favorite cookie? Yep, my favorite not so... Uh, favorite RNG cookie. This S3 also does so much damage. Jeez, look at that damage. Yeah, there's no way I won't be won this right now. I would have to start it like six times in a row. So close. The thing is, I would say that she's the only factor that I have to kill. Like anything else, if they survive, well, the only Yuki surviving could be bad as well. Like this, it's a lot easier. Mm, that will most likely wait. How fast would that be? Because you're not really using super fast units, you're just using premium units. Uh, yeah, I would definitely use uh, Diana instead. Diana is definitely uh, better. But then I would have to change the team uh, as a whole because now my attack buff is in my uh, stripper as well. I might still use the same team, I would just switch around more. Like, this is the those kind of teams that would be very nice to clear with, uh... Uh, what's it called? Gany, Rika, Amber. Well, maybe not that much because there's a lot of water, though, but... Not even sure if I would do enough damage, actually. Uh, miss armor break on a few. Yikes. Not that you steal that much HP. Okay, you stole more HP than I thought. Oh, that proc out though. That proc out was the real lose. Otherwise, I still had a chance. I think, let's see. It's just that you are on like, quite low HP already. And I would need you for another strip, which is not gonna happen. You're gonna have to kill my ass. Yeah, this was safe with the bath.
Because then at least I kill some shit. Yep, a little bit extra damage on the debuffs, just the chip damage in general. I would say the activity in um, Asia Rush is not that much. Maybe it comes in the last half hour, but I don't know. Runes of the teams will show all the way at the end. Is this tricky? It is somewhat tricky, actually. I think I would do enough damage, though, but... There are options where they hard survive. Oh, that's true. My units are max security anyways. for me to hit yeah if I pull the Tiana I could definitely go for the Rika Geni Amber uh, Tiana one without a speed boosted strip combination like even if I pull the Chivo Chivo could do that as well I will definitely enable like a bunch more uh, hits any of the free-to-play units, strippers are not really too great for that. Yeah, I'm somewhat scared of this thing's speed. It's also somewhat dangerous to check Tiana's with uh, my slow as Bernard, but... I might get soloed by a kinky though. That is actually an option. But not if he doesn't really use his skills. Look at this skill. This skill is so good. That's really a good, like, clear thing afterwards. We're actually getting in quite some hits. Way more than I thought. I was like, oh, I have like 30 extra wings, I'll probably take like the whole hour to use them, but actually zooming through as well. Uh, in this case, duh, 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 what makes most sense? Cyrus doesn't. No, it's not that shit, mate. Wish I didn't forget to do HOH rip. <laughs> Big time rip. Too many passives for my liking. I would like to hit this, but I would have to hit it with a Zyros. Well, do I though? No, I don't even. But there's double fire. I'm gonna give it a try. It might be fast though. Like, you should actually run this if you do Swift China, so. It was Swift China. Let's see if we can increase call time. Resisted on the right, that's not too great. That's great damage though. I really like a Garmin Mirror for offense. It's really good.
Okay, I think I got the hits. Oh no, it's just my normal ones. Yeah, those kind of hits I would definitely be able to do with uh, Genny Rika Amber. I'm gonna be able to check this as well. well if I outspeed it, I win. If not, I lose. And that's a lot of those matches. If you outspeed and strip everything, I win. If not, I lose. And it's also all of those matches, if I just miss one strip or one reset, I probably insta die. And if not, it looks very simple. Well, sorting out runes always takes a good amount of time, but it's a good thing to do. Hmm. Anyway, this one isn't too great. Nothing on this team really has too much potential to be fast. Except Elsharian, maybe, but. Elsharian is actually the slowest of his team. Oh. Uh, missed on the Ophelia, but if Ophelia survives solo, it's not an issue. Yeah, she'd survive solo. Rest definitely dies to this. Oh, wait. Didn't kill that. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Zyros is definitely good damage, even on uh, mediocre runes. Don't think I can outspeed Claros on 33. Yeah, that's also a very tricky one. Same as this. Is it though? Feel like I can kind of do it. Would he be super fast on one of those two units? I don't think so. Like, it would be good if he was, but I don't expect him to think that far to make this a trap. It is pretty fast, though. Ooh, resist the Mundo on the Nana. Don't like that part. Because that is the one of the few main ones that I should have been able to kill. I don't like that proc. Yeah, this is, I think, a little bit too far-fetched. I am so sure that this, like, if someone puts like this, like, oh, it's easy. No, that's the, the one that's going to be least easy. That thing is going to annihilate your ass. Pretty sure about that. Hmm, this seems to be the only one that actually looks hitable. Services, Asia. Uh, should I try it again? I lose less points on it right now. Well, let's just try again. Come on, bro. You're fucking kidding me. Uh oh, I counted out. Yeah, I should definitely not be hitting this. Holy shit. Yeah, okay, I should not be hitting this. <laughs> I should not be hitting this. Also, double resistance on that both times definitely did not help, but... Even if I landed, it would still somewhat be of a tricky fight. Hmm, can I do this? I could, but it's also tricky. Starting to find the scenarios where every offense looks a little bit more tricky. Wait, did I go in with bath? I'm fucked. I needed the other uh, not so bath. This is real bad. Okay, stunning all of that is good. Wait, if everything is this much stunned but I didn't armor break those two? Do I even go for it right now? No, I think I'll wait for one turn. Oops, I 
Well, even if I actually used any skills, he would have still procked out. That didn't change anything. I just used the wrong team over there. Is Rush that early? An Asia server it is. Time difference, boys. Time difference. Okay, no hit on the Nora, which is pretty bad, I would say. Not sure if I actually landed that one. Hit, that's good. We're looking at some juicy damage from this skill. That skill is so fucking good. For like cleanup, the Jasmine is so insanely good. The only points I lose is me just inting hits. Taking risky offenses. Hmm, not too many passives. Yeah, I would definitely say that uh, Jasmine is my MVP. I think I figured out a fill safe. Uh, no, you didn't. The only fill safe that is there is actually going left crystal, right crystal. It's the only fill safe there is. Any other fill safe might look like a fill safe until it starts losing four times in a row. And then you're what, like, what yesterday it worked all the time. Just means that they went triple derps. That's all. We got a raider from Inuk. Wait, you already did your rush? I saw you were rushing as well, but we still have like 25 minutes in rush, right? Okay, there's pretty much nothing for me to hit in this whole rotation. Thank you for all the followers dropping in. All of these hits are too tricky for my shitty account. Yeah, this one definitely is. The Alexandra wasn't there, I would have absolutely hit it. With the Alexandra, I feel scared. Okay, I guess we just gotta wait. What rush do you mean? I thought he was arena rushing. Arena rush Asia server. Well, he might be in global actually. I don't think he's Asia. Uh, that might be too tank. Well, it might be too tank, but we can actually full out speed it and then just Zyros it. Yeah, I think that's game plan. And it goes on EU. Ah, okay. That is also an option. Greetings, greetings. Wait, if you're on EU, wait, uh, from which country are you? Mm, did get increased on most. Uh, I think it's most interesting to kill you first. Which we didn't. Germany, ah, okay. As of um, many Germany players that we have. I think your well, biggest two communities are German and French. That's for sure. That's also always SWC in Europe is either Germany or France. Never been anywhere else. Even if Zyros dies, I should still be able to win this. Because of this unit. Wait, did it actually not activate the passive? Yo, Jasmine fucking MVP, that second part didn't activate passive. 
Why not Switzerland? Because they don't have infinite money. You, you need to spend more if you want to do SWC in Switzerland. But yo, Jasmine is fucking MPP in this whole thing, man. I don't think I can outspeed other people's Bernards. I would like to gamble it, but I think I shouldn't. Hmm. Can we clear this? There's good odds that I don't kill, like, these two units as well. And we're gonna get home. We got another Raider from Sikik. Appreciate it. Okay. Who's mm, more annoying? Eeny, meeny, miny. I guess you. Wait, let's see if that's really a thing. Let's see. Ah, I got resistant. Didn't even know your skill got resistant. Well, that's the first time. But then the second part gets resistant. That's annoying. Wait, he's still in range, yeah. If you don't proc right now, you're not gonna get skill. Nice. They don't know. Why is this a resisted thing? Well, it's an absorb attack bar and then they absorb you, drain HP or you kill HP, whatever. Kind of makes sense. Kind of makes sense that it can be resisted. But then, like, the whole activation is also gone. But for that reason, you also don't uh, interact with the passive of a Balio, which is really nice. Wait, do I have any will runes on my whole team? I can't kill half of them. Hmm. <laughs> Should be able to kill the Dom at least. Are you rune driller? I'm not sure in all honesty. Never used the unit person. I think just a lot of defense and then additional damage from defense. Oh, we're not gonna kill the Dom. That's bad news. That's really bad news. I think I actually have to do this for the attack break. Because you otherwise would hurt the motherfucker. Okay, also an option. Wait, if we do this. Look at that damage and then it doesn't activate the Abelio. This unit is so freaking MVP, man. Holy shit. That is so fucking good. <laughs> what the fuck are you this rank, bro? I shouldn't be mad. Why don't you try C2, C3? What the fuck do you think I'm doing? <laughs> do you think I'm just chilling here? <laughs> she wasn't H. Yeah, she was H. She was the last H. I came from like fighter two rank. I'm improving, bro. Still got sixty minutes. Well, I think I should go for, like, safe offenses only, and these all feel, like, super tricky. Like, if I lose, I drop more points than I gain, so... It's not game plan. A lot of these things feel tricky. Uh, this is actually doable. Wait, you can't counter a Jogun. Wait, this is one of the first hits I do where Jogun S3 actually the buff mattered. Hitting a freaking Philantus because Philantus can't counter back. Just have to make sure that I land both and then I'm gonna break them both or so. Uh, you do have your skills right now. Didn't improve enough. Nice. Yeah, a lot of those premium LD defense, they're actually garbage because... They just don't work too, uh, too well on defense. Okay, this is the part where I start getting hit as well. I think that's the guy that I was hitting before as well, you know. 
But I'm very sure he can clear me easier than I can clear him. So no point in revenging. Mm, I don't like those skin case. Plants AI is also trash, yeah. Yeah, if I had that uh, Tiana, I would definitely Tiana Ganymede uh, with Rika Amber this. Okay, Tiana's most wanted on this account. At least for arena offense. I would say for Siege as well. I would say for a lot of accounts, Tiana's really uh, high wanted if you don't have it yet. If I pull Tiana from the choice event, I think I would go for that. I think that would be... Well, Tasha would be nice as well, but I can do Giants already. Like... I could make like a 30 second Giants team just by pulling a Tesher. So that will be twice as fast. But then again, the ult doesn't have too many uh, too many crystals anyway, so. But yeah, choice event. Uh, if I happen to pull a Tiana, that will definitely go to Tiana. Leo would be nice too, but I would say that Tiana gives me more options. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to kill that. Too much stinky shit. Yeah, it more and more gets to the part where I feel like I can't hit shit. Uh, I think I can check a Tiana speed. Still kind of fear these uh, cockies. Would Lucian offense be better in lower ranks? I think it's hard to get a Lucian to deal enough damage. Because this Akamamir is gonna do so much more damage than a Lucian on the same set. Like an incredible amount more. At least we get increase. We did crit on it. Twice. Then it's dead. Plus I feel like a lot of the things are like, the moment that there's a Vanessa lead, your Lucian is already fucked. If we were to outspeed this, I would be able to clear it, pretty sure. But I don't really think I would outspeed a Veronica on this... Uh, I could give it a try, there's nothing to hit anyways. Veronica, just derp or get out sped. All we need. Derp or get out sped. Nice. Okay, now we still have to land everything, otherwise we're still kind of dead, but... Uh, I kind of pushed up units. I was scared with the push up of units. I'm still scared of you. Let's actually try to kill this one first. And now we just... Zoop, uh, resistant, too bad. Is this your beginner account? Yes, it is. Do you build Sonya speed crit rate attack or speed crit damage attack? Uh, depends where. Commonly in RT8 speed crit rate attack. The Sonyas that I have prepared for tonight are actually on crit damage 4. Uh, the alt is on Asia server. Whoa, the Charlotte could be fast too. Uh, this is really tricky. It's a level 65 account, so I expect someone to... That used to play and then doesn't play that much anymore. Mm, these shouldn't be super fast. But still could be annoying. What I just saw was this. Let's give it a try. Okay, answer again, please. Um, I'm uh, for RTA speed crit rate attack is more common, but for arena offense you could do speed crit damage attack. But I, yeah, 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 that was the most one to or the most important to actually land on because the parry is definitely gonna hurt a lot. How much damage did Zaros do? What the actual fuck? How did Zaros nearly one-shot a Manon without death break? <laughs> what? But you could even run like speed uh, attack attack and just get the crit rate from subs. Like the most important thing about uh, Sonya is getting the threshold of actually landing your skills, ignore defense. Afterwards, all damage is just extra. But since I use my Sonya in arena offense, always with attack booster and then attack increasing effect, I can get away with crit damage. 
I kind of want to hit this, but since he's so much lower, I would lose like minus 12 points if I get out of spats. It's not really worth it. Is there a reason you use uh, Jogun leads instead of Cyrus leads? Cyrus Bernard. Oh yeah, you could actually use Jogun lead. That's true. Didn't even think of it. So no, no particular reason. Uh, how fast would that drag be? I think I cannot speed it actually. Will you rush in the main? Yes, yes I will. No, uh, do not do your skills. Okay, I'm dead as fuck. I'm hella fucking dead. Wait, I lap in here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I literally wanted to leave. I'm not gonna fucking lie. I literally wanted to leave. How the fuck are you not tuned to a fucking 40 booster with speed lead, bro? How slow are you? <laughs> what the fuck, bro? That does not make any sense. Uh, this one? No, this one is too tricky. Two fires and then a gazelle. How about some bonkers fucking bad AD? I don't have health as counters though. So double stream or long stream? Uh, double stream because I'll go out for dinner for the birthday of my granddad uh, pretty much right after this. And then I'll be back at like European time, I think like 8.30 or 9. I'll be online like right before the uh, rush starts and then after the, my rush I will do arena wings most likely. But if you want to see more content of me, I will have a video as well. Can bring it to Europe. Seen 500 times. Wait, who? Granddad? Don't think he is in the state to fight. <laughs> He's getting old, man. He's getting old. He's ED8. That's definitely a good age. To some extent, I feel like I could Zyros it, but to some extent, I'm also like, I shouldn't, but I'm still gonna do it. Well, Zyros was also recently buffed to do more damage the moment he has higher attack than the enemy or some shit. Which is definitely a nice buff. We do have to get the increases though, which might be an issue. Uh, was resistant on this one. Then it's very important that we actually kill it. I think we're gonna do this first. Well, it might be popping up at a wrong time. Uh, it might actually be a thing. Oh, it was increased. Nice that you're increased. Not that nice that you start procking right away. Piece of Azok. I think the dots help a little bit more. Or not. This would do a lot of damage. As much as I was hoping for. Nice a stunner. Yeah, this is part where I get a few more hits as well. Oh, that's that shitty team. It's just a few people that are revenging me. Well, I think I'm. Uh, there's just six minutes left. I don't think it is worth for me to do another refresh because that would just be wasting crystals, and I don't think I would get to the next rank. I'm pretty sure. Like, I still need. Like to climb 1.5k ranks to get to the next rank. Jeez, Meow Meow's high up. Wonder what kind of defense he's rocking. Not bad, but not super great either. Like this is literally out of foot. In Europe you would get out of to death. Like if you're that high up for other ranks. Like if you're that many points up, people just auto you for free 15 points. That's how Europe works. Absolutely out of food. That's why I would say that uh, Rush in Europe is uh, more difficult. It's just way more activity. People fuck you up on activity. But yeah, I can definitely notice the moment I get like closer to C2. It's a lot harder to hit people. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna refresh one more time. If not, I'm gonna hit these three because I know I can... These are all three. Oh no, wait, that one not. But this one I can outspeed and that one I know I can clear as well. So these two I can definitely clear and keep that in the back pocket to hit them in the last minute so they can't revenge me. That's also a thing, like, if you're doing on the free-to-play account, you're doing rush, you kind of want to not waste your crystals, because rushing is made to get extra crystals. So, for example, if I would say, like, okay, if I spend another 30 crystals to get 200 crystals instead of 150, and I can kind of guarantee that, it's absolutely a worth trade-off, because you get plus 50, right? or uh, plus 20, right? But in this case, uh, no matter what I will do in the last four minutes, I can't get that. And this is always how I have been rushing on... Uh, my main account when I started the game. Always like min-maxing, like what's the highest value? And the thing is, when it was free to play on my main, which was free to play for like the longest time. Oh, this is actually an interesting one as well. But I was free to play for the longest time on my main, for like a year and a half. But I was getting every free to play crystal I could get. So therefore, looking at everything is like, okay, I can get like a few more crystals over here. Because spending a little bit, investing, and then investing, investing, boys, crypto. Fucking, I don't know. Buy my crypto coin. No financial advice. Let me tell you how to make money. No financial advice. Let's get so sick of those people. Buy my course of how to make money and then you pay me money. So I make money on you telling you how to make money. Huh? <laughs> Fuck that shit. I saw so sidetracked on that one really fast though. No investments. I think this defense is even bad. It's that I can't outspeed it properly, but this defense is actually terrible. I got hit another time. Wait, all three of them I can actually revenge. All three of them? Would they revenge me in the last minute? Most likely not. And I can actually clear those in three minutes, pretty sure. At least do your wings. True, true. But definitely was planning that. But the main reason... Uh, I don't like that miss on the kinky. But the main reason... Uh, I missed on that one as well. Rips. I might die. Because I'm gonna get hit by this thing. And hit by the uh, kinky. Oh, and he stunned that as well. Yikes. Done this too. Don't proc. Don't do anything. Get stunned. Ah, uh, resisted on that as well, but I think just that should kill you. The main reason I was waiting is to not give them a chance to revenge me, because I know 100% sure they can hit me too. I can hit them, but they can hit me. So for that reason, if you just wait a little bit of time and you don't give them a chance to revenge you because the timer is up, that's the best way how to approach revenges. Like, the rest of the whole rush, I would not recommend to revenge anytime. Because revenging just means you're hitting someone that just hit you before. So, you're hitting someone that can guarantee kill you too. Unless it's the rank 1, there's pretty much no point to that. Only point you should be revenging is in the last minute. And then denying them a chance to revenge you. Like, keep them, like, if someone's, like, hella farming your ass, like, hitting you constantly, same guy, same guy, same guy. Keep them all in your list, all the way until the very end. And then at the very end, you just unleash the fucking fury on them. And you just, like, clear it, like, six times in a row. Super fast. That's how you should treat revenge. The rest of the whole rush, if you're revenging, you're just wasting your crystals and your wings and your time and anything. Because they're gonna hit you back. Like, you could say, like, oh, I established dominance so people don't want to hit me because they know I hit them. That could be a thing, but if the other guy is super stubborn and keeps hitting you, then you know he can clear you super fast. So, yeah, that's pretty much end of the rush. We've got about 40 seconds left. I think we're still quite some points away from C2. It looks relatively close, but I would say we didn't do too bad. And I would definitely say that my MVP was 100% this Jasmine thingy. Jasmine was absolutely MVP. This unit is so good. That skill too, that it doesn't um, trigger the Abelio passive. It's actually very nice.
So yeah, best free-to-play offense would actually be this, but then put an Aquila in here. 1670 for C2+. Plus. Yeah, like I said, I was still probably quite some points off. Like, it doesn't look that far, but it's probably still pretty far. And I noticed from about this point on, it was getting hard to actually get my, uh, my hits in. So yeah, let's look at the defense. Defense pretty much just this. I think this is the most free-to-play you can get, except for this thing, of course. If you want to go full, full free-to-play, I would probably put in uh, this. I think this is probably best free-to-play um, defense you can get there. It's just the thing, if you have this on a swift build, it would be a lot better. I have it on this pair, but people would just outspeed you with Tiana's and they fuck you up. But if you have this unit on like a fast swift, it might be a lot better. Uh, then looking at offenses. So... Yeah, let's just go. This is the economy mirror. It, this thing did a lot of damage. This thing actually did do a lot of damage. Clara Amdwad, Windy plus one. That's a very good one as well. I don't have uh, uh, Amdwad because I missed that HOH on this account. But yeah, this is definitely a lot of damage that uh, this thing was dishing out. Definitely a high recommended unit for free to play if you want to deal damage. Uh, the Bernard was just fast. This is my fastest set on the account. It randomly has a look at this plus six. <laughs> But why? Don't ask. So, yeah, this is not super fast. It's pretty easy to get. Like, it's funny to see why you have, like, this Reddit post. Like, oh, finally joining the 300 speed uh, group. It's like, uh, that's not difficult. Like, it, you get this literally in, like, two weeks. Uh, this was the Jasmine. It is just about the 100 crit rate and then... Or uh, the 100 accuracy and then this pair. I definitely do like this pair a lot on this. It's also not crazy fast. It's also like you just get like a bunch of these 20 runes, like just triple rolls, you will get there at some point. Wait, this is even like a freaking plus or a six rune. So it's, yeah, it's super slow. And then artifacts on this don't really matter too much. Jogun, it's also max accuracy. It does max out the accuracy on the S3. And then also despair. I definitely do like despair on these uh, units because it just gives a little bit extra safety in like the whole rush itself. Therefore, this thing, also despair. Yeah, I've been farming giants. That's pretty much the main thing that I farm on this. Accuracy could be a bit higher. Like, this thing is not max accuracy. I actually forgot that I didn't max the accuracy on this, but it has okay-ish, that's what I would say. Uh, then we have the Cyrus, which is was the main damage dealer. Uh, it's not max crit rate. It's definitely not recommended to not go max crit rate, but it's definitely decent up there, I would say. Some attack increasing artifacts would be very good in him as well. I did throw a few skill ups in him. And he has a little bit of accuracy. Accuracy is uh, definitely nice on this unit too. And I think those are all the units that I used, right? Yeah, I just used those, but then in different order, different setups. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So don't need too many units for rush. And I actually could clear quite some. At some point I was having issues finding some hits to, to hit, but... Why would you have better runes? I could outspeed more on the Monard if the Monard was actually properly on speed or I had like some other teams like I was talking about like the Tiana combination with like an Amber and a Rika that would do a lot of stuff or even if I just had like a Chiwu and then Geni, Rika, Amber would already do a lot. It's a lot more premium than like the free to play ish style that I was doing here because this you might say like oh I can't do that because I don't have a Joe gun. I was talking about Aquila. Aquila is actually pretty much Joe gun. Uh, the only thing is against the Valantis, that's the only moment that the Jogun was better in slot. Otherwise, Aquila pretty much does the same thing. Because you have a AoE, uh, what's it called? AoE strip. And if you strip anything, you get a second turn. And then for the second turn, you can go attack buff and crit rate buff. So technically, this is even a better setup. The only thing is if you don't, like let's say there's one unit to strip and you miss that one strip, you're not going to get your extra turn. You're kind of fucked. But in most cases, also if there's like, oh, what if there's nothing to strip? Yeah, then you go straight as two, like not an issue. So I would say Aquila is almost better than Jogun. But since I had Jogun, I was like, oh, I'm going to build that rather than the Aquila. But Aquila is the best booster for free to play, I would say, for a strip plus boost. And then just the team with the Jasmine and the, uh, because Jasmine is actually super nice on cleanup. I was somewhat scared that you're like, okay, I'm too heavy on... Wind, you could change this to an Asher if you want to be less heavy on Wind. It's less of a boost, so you need to make the other units faster. But that's definitely an option. Plus, Asher can kind of kill Halfast teams, which I couldn't right now. If you throw enough accuracy on it for like the... Um, what's it called? Heal block on the S1 and then strip on the S3. But yeah, definitely pretty decent teams out there for a first rush on this account. It's getting C1.